cute. What is that sign? Can't read it. Veritable. We've seen that before, haven't we? Veritable. Very pretty pattern. Hmm. That one's quite sweet. That's a very nice table, this one. <laughs> Even the top's not too bad. A little bit marked. Oh, I rather like that. Oh, I think that one's solid. See what we got here: rugs, beds, sleigh bed. Piece of the marble's fallen off. Hmm. No price on it. I love the shape of it and the colour of it. I might ask about that one. There's a really unusual cabinet there. It's actually not huge, but the carving is amazing, and it's got lead light windows. That is 185 euros. But that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've actually got one something similar to this, but a bit bigger. Oh, look at that. The back is carved. And it's got one huge drawer. It's a bit stiff. I'm not going to open that. And then it's got these white lion heads carved. Wow. That's super. Actually, now, if you look at that lion's head, that's got a hole in it. A bit like that carved one we've got. Oh, maybe there was a bowl or something. A really nice example, and I love that leaded glass, that stained glass. Yeah, that is really lovely. Twenty euros two. I like the shape. Are they? One seems a little bit more solid than the other. Well, the legs are slightly different, I think, or maybe not. <laughs> Piano. Wow. <laughs> this is, I think that's a 70. It's not a 2, is it? These are two. 20 euros? No, 90. 90 euros. That makes more sense. But look at these brackets on here. Wow, they're amazing. They're like copper and brass. It's just a nice piece of furniture, even if you couldn't play it.
No cross on this one. He's rather nice, isn't he? Big old pike. Two euros for that one. Quite a lot of detail on that. That's a pretty pattern. I don't think it's any great quality. Oh, some more feet. Some over that side as well. He's still got a label on him. He's 10 euros, I don't know, but he's quite a nice looking thing. HP, I don't know what that is. It gets absolutely soaked out here. Oh, there's miles of it. Let's have a very quick look in the shed. What's in this box? Nothing. <laughs> oh, there's another one of those chairs. Same. And it's just sat out here. What a waste. Yeah. They must throw an awful lot of stuff away. Six of these little glasses, they're probably for nothing. They're quite Christmassy. They're all full of water. Not everything else out here. Um, wow, wish I had a bit more time and I would have a good old rummage. But yeah, not today, it's a bit cold and wet. Ah, I have seen something interesting. What I was looking for the other day, I was looking for a bowl for Christmas to make some trifle because I couldn't find my one and there's a huge one. I wonder if that's glass or plastic. Well it's definitely glass. Has it got any cracks? It will have if I drop it. It's absolutely massive. Oh see how much that one is. Wow, not perfect for a trifle, yeah. Let's go around the corner to the square to go to the Christmas market. Crazy, I would well, think. It's a good start. <laughs> Shaking their bucket. Oh, Santa! Santa's here. <laughs> no, I won't be sitting on his knee, thank you. You <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Nuggets? Wow, look at that, looks like a huge block of cheese. Caramel, 
Salted caramel. Specular, I think that's like gingerbread flavour. Traditional. Pistachio, that looks good. Not sure my teeth will stand up to that. And then obviously we've got pecan mix. Have to get some of these for Tony. And we have some wine tasting and some honey. Wow. Huge selection of goat's cheeses. Hey. So lovely. What's in here? Pickled things. Oh, foie gras. Chipes. Oof. Bolognese. Chestnut sauce, I think. Veal sauce with chestnuts. I don't know. Touche. We. Oui. I see. <laughs> Wow, look at all the preserves. I'm going to come back and buy some of these. Definitely. Pina colada. Green lentils. Wow. Bonjour. C'est combien? Oh, 450. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mesh coffee. Wow. Ren Claude, that's one of my favourites. I think that's um, Green Gauge. Mm. I need some cash, please. I have some money. Yep. Uh, right. I'm going to get Look at some of the flavours that they've got on here. They've got, uh, it's, these are all like jams and preserves. They've got chestnut one. Mm. They've got pina colada. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mojito. <laughs> you fancy that on your toast? You could do. I'm going to get a couple. Get some, uh, get some. Uh, oh, you want the sweeties? Yeah, yeah. One of these. Merci. Um, mojito. <laughs> See if we play. Yeah, but, uh, with, with, with the beer. Oh yeah, there's a beer one instead, Tone. He's not listening. <laughs> uh, black chip. Oh, what have you? What else have you found? What are they? I don't know. Oh, honey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mango. What do you fancy? They've got a beer one, look. You want the beer one as well? Yes. Okay. We be a beer blonde. See if we play. Say <laughs> too. Merci. Please. Well, we've got some sweeties and some preserves. What have you seen? Nothing. We've seen everything already. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. Obviously it's hand carved, I would think, and different ones of animal and columns. And... Oh, but not so. What are they doing? The plants so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to see what it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, truffle oil as well, don't it? Hmm. Wow. There's lots of preserves. The cures tone. Plus de recettes de la région. 
It's the elixir, elixir of Berry. Ah, you're English? We yes. are English, yes, yes unfortunately. It's all <laughs> typical from this region. Right. Yeah. People Mystery. They still do it, and the Bouillard de Puy come from village to village, and they still their alcohol. And with that alcohol, they also made uh, sweeter things like uh, those over there. Oh, you, you this is our Atafias. Oh, you had me on the alcohol. Sorry? Uh, you had me on the alcohol. What is Linda? Andelflower? Andelflower and there's also. Yeah, elderflower. We. Uh, what have you bought? Pears. Oh, pears. Yeah. Pear yeah. liqueur. There we are. Let's see. Mm. That'll be interesting. <laughs> I'm wondering what's in this elixir of berry. That elixir? Yeah. This was used on the farms. It made it. There was a tremendous medical reasons no, medical reasons and, and, <laughs> tension and so on blood tension but uh, it's very good to drink after a meal to right. a cup of coffee oh. it's, about, it's not that strong it's about uh, 25 degrees in alcohol and it's made on base of, of eau de vie like this one but distilled from wine it's an eau de vie and then there are all kinds of herbs that have been put in oh, with it right. and then it has been reduced to 25 degrees in alcohol. Excellent, thank you very much. <laughs> we might come back. <laughs> hey. oh. I thought there would be a little bit more. It seems to be the place where all the blokes are hanging out. So, uh. <laughs> Yeah, look, the firemen are drinking stuff. <laughs> what have they got? Something red. <laughs> Wine. <laughs> they've got belts, they've got braces, have they? Time! You wanted some braces, didn't you? Oh yes, absolutely right, yes. Look, they've got plain ones. Well, these are rather nice, actually, but you want some work ones, don't you? Yeah, that'd be fine. Bonjour. Bonjour. Which one? Which one? Ça? Merci. Merci. <laughs> yeah, so keep hitching your jeans up. Oh. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> okay. Au revoir. <laughs> Ah. I've come upstairs to the bit above the drive-through where the big gates are underneath us. And Tony's been really busy up here. Look, he's had a grand clear up. He's taken a lot of loose stuff off of the walls and a lot of cobwebs down. Knocked a lot of loose stuff off of these walls over here. And yeah, he's swept up about three or four inches of dust and dirt that was all over the floor. He set me up a power cable so that I can put a tree in this window with some lights and decorations on. But yeah, he's been very busy up here. Right, let's get on with the decorations. I'm gonna put one in, starting with one in this window.
we like him to be symmetrical as well. You can hear children out there, and that's because they're out there playing by the earth there. <laughs> We weren't planning on spending Christmas here, and we thought we would probably be going um, back to the UK. We don't actually have an awful lot of Christmas decorations here. I've bought a few, I've bought a few extras, um, and Deb's going to lend me some extra sets of lights. So we'll sort of make the most of what we've got for the time being. This has got the most expensive tree, actually it was quite reasonable for a imitation tree. I'm quite impressed actually. Less than I think it's going to make. Right, so we've got a real tree downstairs, I'll show you that one later. I haven't decorated that one yet either. But we've got that set up in the stand in our lounge in the front house. So you'll be able to see the lights from that one out the window as well. Right. Like. You can see the other lights down there in the square. And there's the elf. <laughs> oh, how pretty does that look? I'm going to go and have a look from the outside. But yeah, my first Christmas tree up. And I have another real Christmas tree waiting to be decorated in the lounge. Yeah, that's looking pretty. You wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm really pleased with my efforts now. That's looking good. My Christmas tree up there. There we are. And we'll get a few more very soon. I've just come outside because we're going to walk down and see where Tony is. I think he's having a bonfire. But while I'm out here, there's a few times in your life when some little animal makes a little impression on your life. And for the last few days, there's a little bird that's been sleeping up in the corner. Oh, there he is. That's not very easy to film him, but you see that little white junction box up there. He sleeps up there in the corner every evening, and we've startled him a few times, but I think he's got used to us now. I'm just going to unzoom in. <laughs> yeah, you can't see him very clearly. I'm not sure what type of bird he is. He's about the size of a robin. I think it might be a robin. Oh, I think I've disturbed him now, but I'm going to go away and leave him alone. Yeah, because he moved. Right, let's go and see what Tony's doing. Hi. Tony's trying to get his fire going. Oh, it's very dark out here. Oh, there's a tiny glow. What are you burning? Just trees? Oh, broken furniture and trees. Oh, I see.
This is that bookcase. We've moved it and put things in it. And there's another pretty one here. Yeah, look at that. Not so nice, but. That looks like a Napoleonic emblem on that plate and that knife. That's the insect, which I think is like it's a bit like a bee. Very pretty. 80 euros, though. Another lot of lamps. 300 for the pair. But they are all lanterns. Well, I'm pretty sure Tony could make something very similar. Not the last bit. Jewelry and earrings. There's a DuPont pen. She bought something similar for Tony one Christmas. Chanel mm. mm. brooch they want 250 euros for. Um, I guess it's Chanel, but it's a little bit silly money. Mm. Collection of many perfumes. Rather cute. A posh wedding hat for five euros. <laughs> There's a couple of others as well. Mm. No, not too much different in the chairs. There's not seem to be any new ones. Selection of standard lamps. Mm, some very old fashioned sunbeds. Mm, I wonder what would have been kept in that. In that cage there. No, they want 12 euros for that one. Not the best quality though. Mm. Oh, they're not very pretty hats. We've got a selection of hats. Can you ask Cognac Hennessy? Hmm. That's not bad, that little print there. For 10 euros. I don't think I've got anywhere to put it just for the moment. Oh, this is a lovely piece of furniture. It says 260, reduced from 300. So it's still quite a lot of money. <laughs> now that one, I like that one, that's very French. 130. So it's commode, but I think that's. Not the commode as we would know it. Obviously I can't see the top. I don't think this one was here. Oh, I've got 55 euros. It's quite a big lump of furniture. But, uh, I'll come back to see if the beds were here. And they are. Right. There's a very deco looking wardrobe. Oh, look at lovely carvings and what looks like a matching bed. How much is that? That's 
says on the label 200 euros and then there's another matching wardrobe and bed with the roses on in white deco looking maybe 40s 120 euros Our feet, not the best quality, they're 14 euros each. I my one, and there's a huge one. I wonder if that's glass or plastic. Well, it's definitely glass. Not perfect for a trifle, yeah.